If you're still using the default certificate on Cisco Ice, then probably your network is at risk. You see, when we deploy Cisco Ice for the first time, it is going to generate a self-signed certificate. This certificate is used essentially for everything to uh, authenticate the endpoints, to allow access to ICE, dashboard through the portals, and also any other service that ICE might require a digital certificate. If the certificate expires, the endpoint on the network will stop trusting Cisco ICE. And worse, you as a network admin won't be able to log into Cisco ICE because the certificate is expired. So to prevent that from happening, Cisco recommends to use a certificate signed by a root CA, which essentially means that you should have a PKIO public key infrastructure. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to start using a certificate signed by a root CA on Cisco Ice. Okay, let's log into Cisco Ice and I'm going to show you how to uh, change the self-signed certificate. So that should be for this very one. And you can see that we have this message. This is because uh, Ice is using the self-signed certificate and this computer doesn't trust that certificate. Okay, so I'm going to log in. Okay, so now let's go to um, uh, let's go to administration certificates, and here you can see that uh, by default, ICE is using the default self-signed server certificate to uh, EAP authentication, meaning to authenticate the uh, devices, computers, tablets and also uh, for portals and radius DTLS. Okay, so this is using the self-signed certificate. So we want to change that. And so in this case, for this scenario, I deploy the Windows Server with the row of services that allow it to act as a root CA. So essentially, we're going to uh, import the root CA certificate into ICE and then we're going to ask or generate a CSR, that's a certificate signing request, so that Windows Server or the root CA signs that certificate, okay? So first thing we have to do, uh, so let's bring my root CA, so that should be 43, three, that's not the right place, uh, cert, serve, and I have to log in as administrator. Okay, so I'm not going to show you how to configure this on Windows Server because you can use any other platform that can act as a root CA. Okay, so first thing we're going to download the CA certificate. So here we're going to select base 64 and we're going to select download CA certificate. I'm just going to give it a name just to make it easier to identify this file. So that's going to be root CA. And I'm going to save this. So now back to ICE, we're going to import this certificate. So we go to trusted certificates. And here we're going to import. Choose the file. Root CA. Now let's give it a name. So I'm going to say that's going to be um binary avenue root ca and this is going to be used to trust for client authentication base cisco service okay just going to select all of them and i'm going to submit this okay we have root ca installed on cisco ice so now we have to uh create a csr or certificate signing request and to do that let's go to certificate signing requests uh, generate signing request and here we have uh, the different options uh, depending how we want to use it because we want to change to replace the default time certificate so it's going to be a multi-use certificate okay so if we expand these the, the, these are the different options i'm just going to select multi-use uh, in certain environments it is recommended to generate certificate uh, for specific use case, but in this case, we're just going to select for, for everything. And we're going to select for this node, ICE01. We only have one. Now it's for the common name. So here's going to be the ICE full qualified domain name. In this case, it's going to be i01 uh, binaryavenue.com. I'm going to copy these organization units. So I'm just going to 
make this out so security organization uh, binary avenue I can leave this as uh, blank it's not mandatory as for the subject alternative name so let's select for DNS name it's going to be the, the full qualified domain name and we're going to add another one that's going to be the IP address in this case ice IP address is 4321 and everything else going to leave as default and generate okay so the certificate was generated so now we're going to export and yeah you can save here now let's open this file I'm going to open uh, with notepad and uh, select everything here and I'm going to copy okay now back to my CA my root CA server it's going to back back oh that's not what I want I want to request a certificate I'm going to select advanced certificate request and here we're going to paste and the certificate template I'm going to change this to web server we're going to submit okay the certificate was issued so now I'm going to select base 64 and we're going to download the certificate and this I'm going to call it a certificate sign by root CA I'm going to save this okay we got certificate so now let's go back to Cisco Ice and import that certificate so we're going to select the uh, CSR that we just generated and we're going to select the option bind certificate okay and now we're going to choose the file that we want to bind with the CSR that's going to be the cert signed by root CA Okay, so we're going to give it a final name, so it's going to be uh, I01, let's say I01 sign certificate, okay, and we're going to use these for keep authentication, red is the TLS, uh, also PX grids, eyes message service and portal now portal here we have select the full port certificate group which essentially means that's going to be used for uh, these portals related with guest uh, guest services now uh, we're going to if we select admin now it's going to cause Cisco eyes to restart so we're not going to select admin now and I'm going to show you in a minute so first we're going to submit and only one can be so now this is giving this warning saying look i'm going to replace the certificate so just make sure that what you're doing is the right action okay okay so make sure your request certificate chain is important under trusted certificate this is where we did uh, initially importing the root ca into uh the trusted certificates so we're going to confirm that maybe yeah no problem certificate must contain both clients okay so I'm just going to disable PX grid and submit I'm going to ask again yes for some reason I had an issue with the first certificate that was issued by the root CA so I had to do the whole process from the beginning so we are at this step where we have to bind the certificate that was signed by the root CA with the CSR so we're going to select the CSR and select the option bind certificate okay here certificate file let's grab the file that was signed by the root ca okay and now just give it a friendly name uh let's call this new cert signed by root ca very friendly now the usage we're going to select all the options admin and it's going to give this warning uh, this will cause the I service, uh, the application to restart. So just take that into account in case you plan to do this in the production environment. Although this process you should be doing uh, during a maintenance window. Okay, so we're going to confirm that for IP authentication, same thing. And register DTLS. I'm not going to select PX grid because we're not going to use it. So I's message service 
portal so here we're going to select all the portals and we're going to submit uh never admin before you close an application never start and select the node yes just confirm that uh certificate as a validity period yes confirm that uh there is already assigned to the phone so if you proceed yes it's going to replace the first certificate okay this process might take a while because the application uh, is going to restart and expect a uh, downtime around 15 to 30 minutes okay eyes is back online so now let's see if it's using the new certificate okay so let's go to uh administration let's go certificate so there's a shortcut here and we can see this is the new cert signed by root ca uh, let's take a look it is being used uh eyes binary so that's information about certificate but we can see that it's been used for admin ip authentication registry tls portal eyes messaging service and that's how you change eyes from using the default self-signed certificate by a certificate signed by a root ca if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you on the next one